is my white man dance. <laughs> I'm one step away from big fish, little fish cowboy plot. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome, we're back at Black Country Barbell and today we're going to be trying to add inches to our biceps. <laughs> we are going to be rocking with some occlusion training. I have not done this before, but this is a training method where you wrap a specific little bandy band around a limb and what the idea is, is to trap blood within the muscle and force it to be almost to, to, to pull the blood in the muscle while you work. And what this does is it allows you to create a hell of a lot of tension with very light weights. So this is actually a legitimate training method for you to be able to optimize your training when you're maybe suffering from an injury or can't lift heavy, getting aches and pains, or maybe, maybe you just wanna try something a little bit different. So we're gonna give it a go today and we're gonna literally measure my arm before, we're gonna measure my arm afterwards and we're gonna see how many inches we can add to a single body part in just 10 minutes. <laughs> that was less dramatic than it was, wasn't it? <laughs> We're gonna measure on a flex. On, oh, should measure. we do, let's do, let's do flaccid to flex. There's an advertisement oh, yeah. you'll oh, never hear anywhere. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's get out the swans. Right, this actually be interesting because a lot of you always ask me how big my arms are, I have no idea. But I'll tell you one thing, they're smaller than you think because I have tiny, tiny little joints, which gives the proportional, like the way they were looking proportional to the joints, makes them look way bigger than they actually are. So this will be interesting. So this is unflexed. Yeah. So you've got bang on 40 centimeters. What's that in inches? Just less than 16. Ooh, that's not too shabby. Not bad, man. That's, that's yeah. not bad, is it? Bad. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> that is all imperative. How, do, how, how flexy do I get? Do I peak, flex to peak, peak, peak. Peak. Get, get on the peak then, Jay. That's not on the peak. Come on, peak me up, man. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. So we've got 16 and a half. Is that the only changes? Yeah. Is that normal? Yeah. Half an inch on a flex, not even worth flexing. <laughs> All these years I've been wasting, wasting my time for that half an inch. So There's a definite There's joke so in it, right? Jokes. Moving on. Let's do a visual of before and after as well. So, here we go. Okay, so we have side, unflexed, side flexed. Then you've got the classic Lex pose, which is this. And that's not even flexed, that's relaxed. So if you ever want to know how to take a good side profile photo, it's relax the arm, chill, think about pizzas. <laughs> flexed. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Yes, a good one. Yeah, no. Boosh to stoosh. Oh, people always ask about how, like, this gap here. This is just genetic. This is, like, where, where your insertion points are. You cannot change that. So, people often ask, like, how do I get my peak up here? Like, that's genetics. And the peak part of it, obviously, we have a split in the bicep, which hopefully you'll see when we get crazily pumped, um, is working the inner and outer heads of the bicep whenever you're training. Just little added notes there. But anyway, I hope that gives you a little... Yeah, is that that yeah. one there as well? There we go. Do you want to, can we okay. get a leg shot as well, mate? Leg, leg poses, anything else? Just pants off. No, it's Always right. trying to get my pants off. <laughs> I can give you a sneaky calf. Do you want to, yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One. Oh, chicken ball sack. It's bigger than his buddies. <laughs> Isn't it gnarly? Oh, yeah, mental. you didn't see them, did you? Oh. Popping out at you. <laughs> <We're> the worst. <laughs> the idea is you have this basically on like a, a, a clipped lasso loop essentially. You tighten, lock it in, and the idea is is we're letting blood flow into the muscle, but not back out. And then we're going to be doing a rep scheme of 30, 15, 15, 15, and we're supersetting bicep, tricep. Yep, pick one movement. So we're going to do cable curl, tricep push down. 30 reps on one, 30 reps on the other, 15, 15, 15, 15. 15. Yes. And the 30 on the first has to be unbroken. <laughs> so that means we're picking super light weights and you do still have to focus on the contraction. So it's just like you would anyway. You need that mind to muscle, you need that mechanism, everything locked in, everything dialed in. So this is gonna be incredibly light compared to normal. And this is where the joint sparing side of things comes in and also being able to maybe hold your posture a little bit better or maybe you've got some shoulder issues and things like that that are destabilizing. 
Anything where you need to maybe lighten the load but still want to get that work rate, this is where this is going to come into play. But you only do this for one exercise, right? We're going to do two cluster sets. Two cluster sets. So it's going to be a giant cluster of bicep triceps, three minutes of rest where you, where you take them off. Okay. And then we're going to do once more. So two sets. Two sets in total. Two sets in total, 10 minutes. Yep. Whereabouts are we putting it? As high up as you can. So literally right underneath your armpit. And you want it to be an Ooh. 8 out of 10 in terms of tightness. You want it to be quite quite tight. You'll feel like a fluid shift as well. Just so people feel very about it. Look, stretch marks. I'd just like to add that in there as well. Everybody has them, motherfuckers. There's a whole video on those if you want to go and watch them. It's called uh, Stretch Mark Removal. And it goes through everything you need to know about stretch marks. How to make them look better, how to deal with them. Number one, how to not really worry about them. Because we all have them. Yeah, a little nice little ad on there for you. Check it out on the channel. Okay, so that's not, that doesn't feel horrendously tight. You want it to be about an 8 out of 10 tightness. I don't know what a 10 out of 10 is, Jay. 10 out of 10 means you're fucking savagely hurting. That feels like I have something on my, when I do tricep, that hurts a little bit. Yeah. Is that normal? Yeah. On a massive bonus, I do now look like the ultimate warrior. The power of the ultimate warrior. Go like the Ultimate Warrior, Jay. Cool man's version. <laughs> <laughs> Made me a little bit sad inside. <sighs> I'm genuinely a bit nervous about this. Mm. Okay, and so 30 reps. Yep. Here we go. <sighs> it's, it's, oh, it is quite uncomfortable. Just generally, like that tricep flexing against it. I'm get 30, no problem. Yeah. But I can already can feel it. Can I tell you it. when the worst one is? No. So second set of 15. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that's stopped. 30. Whoa! Oh, okay. It's to that starting to hurt now. Oh, that's not nice. Ooh. Oh. So there is the downside of the discomfort of this. Eight. Although saying that, nine, ten. I've bought ones with nice little padding inside. Oh. oh. Oh, 30 reps sucks anyway. This sucks even worse. Oh. Perfect, uh, stay with it. Uh, uh, fuck you. Ah. Uh. Four. Fuck me. Two. Oh, I just kicked in. Okay, six. Oh, that's. It's even hurting biceps whilst on triceps now. Yeah, it does. Three. Two. Oh, is this is the last one. Yep. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Three. Come on, fucker. Two. Oh, that's fucking. Come on. Nine. Ten. Five. That's what it is. Five. That's what it is. Five. Four. Three. Two. Tell me we can take the fuckers off. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, mother. Cool. Three minutes. Oh, it's like someone's giving me two dead arms. So it feels like. Ah. See the colour difference. Yeah. That's look at this. this <laughs> look how pu purple it's gone. So Joe and I are having a discussion that, as to whether see we that, should that. tell you how painful it's going to be. <laughs> I mean, you can get through it. Don't get me wrong, but it's very uncomfortable. Yeah. Very uncomfortable. Nice. And the the pain is weird. It's like you're like okay, it's like a, a, a pump pain, pump pain that you're fighting through, and then all of a sudden, it's like your skin just wants. Just all of a sudden, you start to go. Skin splitting, pump it feels like. Mainly on the biceps. The triceps is more of a general and comfortable, but I think that's generally because we have peak on the biceps. So you do really feel that tension across the skin on that. And like you said, even on your triceps, just because you're not even putting any load through it, but you're still moving it. You said even on triceps, it's still hurting your biceps when you're doing it. Yes, if it was. You, if you were to pick like one exercise, if you can do this like just biceps, rather than doing supersets, you'd just do 30, 30 15, 15, 15, and just have 30 seconds in between each, so you're doing that same. Let's go. A little bit more. Little more. Little more. 
Yeah. yeah. Channel. <laughs> Thirty. Yeah. Five. Uh, four. Uh, Twenty-five. Five more legs. Come on. Five. Four. Three. Two. Oh, okay, that's more savage. Immediately more savage. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Come on. Two. Two. Uh. Ah! Ah! Tsu! Tsu! Oh my god! 10, even though I'm horribly discomfort here, one thing I would say is I've got a bone bruise on my elbow at the moment, and that hurts on every tricep movement, but this is not hurting it at all. Oh, which is. Let's go. Last one. Last one. Last one. 10. Fuck you, five more. Come on. Let's go. Squeeze. Come on. Five, make them bleed. Four, bleed. Three, bleed. Two, no pain. Ah! Seven, come on. Two, three, four, five. Ah! Oh my god. Ah! Jesus. Okay. Let's get it, let's see where we're at. So apparently bang on 17 inches. What was it, 16 before? It's just less than 16 before. Ooh. No doubt we're probably measuring it wrong and there's gonna be an instant of course. influx of, of course. you're doing it wrong, bro. Hey, it's only for fun. Fuck <laughs> I was trying to be diplomatic. Awesome. Fuck them. Okay, and then, so you wanna be here on the head oh, of the tricep there. there. So the tricep head is there, that's the peak head of the tricep. Yeah, also the then the it should be line up. Yes, this is Boom. What is it? 17 and a half. We've added. Well, 17 and three quarters it was. Woo, is that over an inch? Yeah. There you go, there we go, difference, difference. Let's do the difference view. So, what did we have? We had standard side. Yeah. The Lex Flex. Pizza. Oh, I can fucking feel that. Oh, that's insane. Does it look dip does it look swollen though? Swollen big. And then I can't see it, there's no mirrors to enjoy this. <laughs> but there we go. I think we've shown in 10 minutes we've added just over an inch. Just over an inch to the bicep. And you can see the pump, I mean, you can visually see it. It's way fuller here on that pot. It, it's hard. Now it's, it's hard to even hit that contraction. And that's after just two sets of cluster sets, cluster sets. 30, 15, 15, 15, and it's there, bam. That hurts, it's so swollen still. So there we go. That is one impressive way for you to add inches to your arms in 10 minutes. So the reality of this is, it is a legitimate way to train, to be able to use light weight, but still create maximum growth effect and get maximum potential from your workouts. It's gonna be joint sparing, which is something I'm always preaching against. You cannot smash heavyweight, heavyweight, heavyweight all the time, because eventually you might be good now. It might not happen this week, next week, but over the time you're grinding, 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 something will pop and something will go. But the reality of it is, the more feathers to your bow or more arrows in your quiver, whatever the goddamn saying is, be versatile, spread your knowledge throughout different realms, don't get stuck, don't be blinkered on just one way. There is many, many ways to do things wrong, just as there's many, many ways to do things very, very right. This has been occlusion training. So remember, it's one body part, one exercise, you're gonna be doing two sets, cluster sets, so a 30 rep, followed by three sets of 15s. It's basically supersets, one after the other, two times, and I promise you, you're gonna be in a different kind of discomfort, but you can get maximum inches. The thing is, is that an inch and a quarter is quite impressive in other areas. Like, would these work, you know, just a bit? Lately 
I've been doing shit different Cooking like a chef, I've been all up in the kitchen Had to make a move, had to make a little distance A lot of people tripping, they could never see the vision Fuck that, tell them bye